Hello, welcome back. In this segment, I want to discuss the distribution of ASLR generated addresses. We have a very simple program and let's see what are the possible values that particular address can take. Okay, you get some number because I'm just printing the address of the buffer. If you run it again, you get a different number. The question is, what is, what is the nature of the distribution? Can we infer some things in informal fashion, meaning how many bits are easy to predict? Okay. So what I did actually is I wrote a little uh, script, right? I think it's this one. And then um, it asked the user how many atoms, and then it keeps calling the ASLR demo program in a loop, right? So let's see if I just uh, run it once, bash, bash script, right? How many atoms? One attempt, you get one number. Suppose you say 10, it will call 10 times and uh, print the possible address. You can see here, we have numbers ranging from, yeah, BFF. It's not sorted, we can sort it numerically. Okay, and we can study different possible values, okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to run this thing multiple times, let's say 10,000 times, right? Okay, you get possible values. Okay, it's going to print for a while. I did spend some time looking into this distribution. Yeah, and um, you can see oftentimes, pretty much all of the atoms, right? We have BF at the beginning and the C at the end, okay? I hardly seen anything other than that. Let's do one more thing now. Let's uh, send it to grep, right? It's running the program 10,000 times, trying to print the address for each. And you can see there was no um, address that is not starting with BF. Okay, this is the meaning of not, right? Okay, with the minus V, you are excluding the lines match the pattern. Okay, that's the first observation. So we were able to predict the first byte, more or less. In the 10,000 atoms, nothing happened. We can increase the number of atoms if you want to convince ourselves or get more confidence. Let's try 50,000 atoms. Okay, in all the 50,000 atoms, there was not even one address that is not matching BF at the beginning. That means with very high confidence, we can say the first byte is easy to predict, okay? All right, so out of the 32 bits, we were able to predict eight bits, which is a huge deal because we don't have to run all possible addresses. We can just keep the, the most significant byte BF, okay? Did you also notice that in the runs we did so far, the last byte, uh, to be more precise, the last least significant bits of the address, right? They all end with C. Okay, C, you can see it's always ending with C. So we can also confirm that. Let's match lines that are, that are not going to end at C. We will see whether that exists or not. Let's, let's run it. 10,000 times. Okay, nothing. It was nothing. Hmm. Okay, let's try 50,000 times. Okay, there was no address that was not ending at C. Okay, that means <clears throat> we were able to predict, okay, with high confidence, the last four bits, right? and the first eight bits. Okay, so we are able to predict so far 12 bits, okay, out of all possible 32 bits. Okay, which means our set space is just at most <clears throat> 2 power 20, right? Which is about a million, okay. I also did further analysis to see whether there is more pattern that I can find. And actually I found some more. Let me explain those. Okay. 
let's just run it a couple of times and I will show you what I mean. Let's say I run it five times. And if you now pay close attention to the set of bits that I have highlighted here, right? Let's take the first one. First one is B, right? B means 11. 11 is clearly uh, greater than or equal to 8. F is greater than or equal to 8. A is uh, 10, greater than or equal to 8. 9 is greater than or equal to 8. What I'm trying to clarify is that the most significant bit of the second byte is always 1. Okay? Because if you convert B into binary, B will be 11. 11, 11 means you have 8 plus 3, right? 8 plus 3 is 11. So you can see the most significant bit is turned on. Okay, that means we, we are able to predict one more bit of the possible addresses. So far we predicted uh, 12 bits and now one more bit. So we were able to predict 13 bits. Okay, which means we reduced the search space to 2 power 19 possible address values. Okay, if, if we are assuming that addresses are uniformly distributed in that remaining two power nine in that remaining 19 bits, then there are only two power 19 possibilities, which are not many, right? Only about 500,000 roughly. Okay, so this is drastic, right? Um, we would have thought that there are two power 32 possible addresses, but in the end, what we get from ASLR is possibly about 2 power 18 or 2 power 19 at most. Okay, we confirmed that we are able to predict 13 bits with high confidence. Okay, uh, in all the attempts that I ran, okay, this particular, um, the most significant bit of the second byte is always turned on. Okay, I can show you some more evidence. I'm going to see whether is there any address in the address space where the most significant bit of the second byte is not turned on, okay? So I'm going to use this search uh, technique, okay? I'm using awk for that. I'm saying, show me any address uh, where the most significant bit is not turned on for the second byte, okay? So let's try 10 times, nothing. Try 1,000 times, nothing, right? 10,000 times, nothing. Okay, we can try 50,000 times and then stop. <laughs> okay, so what we're learning here is that on a 32-bit machine, we are able to predict the most significant bytes address, which means eight, eight bits, right? BF is eight bits, plus the most significant bit of the second byte, one bit, and then the last four bits of the last byte. Okay, that means we were able to predict so far 13 bits out of 32 bits, which is a huge deal uh, in the sense that our search space for the possible addresses is bounded by about 500,000 possible addresses. Okay. So my, my main message is that although ASLR is effective, as you can see, the number of possible addresses uh, is not 2 power 32, which is about uh, 4 billion, but instead it is close to 500,000, okay? So uh, we cannot fully rely on ASLR as a way to, to, to protect uh, any uh, programming mistakes like buffer overflow or format string and so on. Uh, the addresses on a 32-bit machine are rather easy to predict uh, because of the way the, uh, the addresses are coming out when we perform this experiment, okay. All right, this is not a complete experiment. Of course, there may be more uh, insights one could uh, gain by further deeper analysis, right? So far um, in my analysis, I have been able to predict 
13 bits out of the 32 bits. Okay, that's basically it. Thank you very much.